lessons today. Oh god, I'm gonna get my glasses. You're up. Hey, good morning. You're up. Good morning. What time is it? 8.30. That early? Yeah. Come back to bed. I can't. Today's the day that I meet with Winston Price, partnering producer. <laughs> what? Why didn't you mention anything last night? My mouth was full. <laughs> well, I want to support your writing career. Here, I'll drive you. I can't. Not, not today. Um, actually, I'm going to take an Uber. If you could so kindly go. Uh, um, I gotta say my affirmations and talk with my deities. You know my shit. But what script did you like? Was it the one about the gay black cowboys? No, the other one. The one about the gay black aliens? No, the other one. The one about the gay black superheroes? That's the one. Let's look. No, not that one. Okay. You know, seeing you in a hurry is really making me appreciate my slow routine. <laughs> Being your yoga and sweatpants without a job all day routine? I have a job. Look, my job is finding my purpose. You know, reclaiming my bliss. What? You know I've been doing research, and did you know that 60% of Americans get their identities from their job? I don't want that. <sighs> so tell me, you think I got this? I know you got this. No, uh, we need to talk about us. <sighs> Not right now. Big plans, gotta go, but we will. Now, if you could kindly put your pants back on, I gotta go. It's my shirt. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Deep. So glad to see you two back together. We're not together. Are we back together? We're not together. We're clearly back together. No. Our next order of business, the rent. Actually, I'm on my way right now to meet with a producer who's interested in one of my scripts. Oh, the one about the gay black cowboys? No, no, not that one. Look, I don't have time for this today. You know, when I first came to LA, all I had in my name were some press on nails my cousin Ricky did for free and some change in my back pocket. And now, I'm at the top of my class with Fitum, and I own this deluxe West Hollywood apartment complex. Oh. Oh, we call that character. I'm rooting for you two. Call me. Glad to know somebody is. I gotta tell you, I really liked your screenplay. Oh my god, that's just so affirming to hear you say that. Let me finish. I really liked your screenplay until I did it. You know that part on page 38 where he turns out to be gay? <laughs> Trust me, we here at Harper Media, we're cool with the whole LGBTQIA through Z and sometimes Y <laughs> community, but trust me, it's just not commercially viable. The idea behind the story is to break down stereotypes on gay characters and widen the horizons of roles played by black actors like Winston Price. Yeah, ever since he uh, <laughs> came out, <laughs> he's been whining about wanting to play an out character. When will I play an out character? When can I play a character written by a black writer? When can you stop touching my butt all the time? <laughs> Actors, am I right? Um, so I think that last one was a serious complaint. Look, if you can get me a whole new draft in two weeks without the gay stuff, we'll purchase your film. Winston Price is dying to sink his teeth into the superhero genre, which, if you ask me, is completely lifeless and flaccid. Okay, uh, just can I have some time to think about this? Well, don't think too long. <laughs> you know what I always say. Thinking never got anybody anywhere. <laughs> Do you want some coffee? I need an espresso. Where? Coffee boy.
party. So I take it the interview didn't go too well. What are you doing in my apartment? I came here to throw your ass out for squatting, but I saw you having a pity party and I felt bad. I'm not having a pity party, okay? I just had a little bit too much to drink. Have you seen your Twitter? You're a national emergency. And you don't even have the good stuff. You know, when I first came to LA, all I had in my name was a used glue gun and some pantyhose that Pamela Anderson used on the set of Baywatch. What? And look at me now. I have a full-time passive income and the skin tone of a newborn. So wait, you're telling me that if I'm patient with my career and I fight the good fight that one day I'll be able to find success? I'm talking about my skin. How am I going to coordinate my two sugar daddies? Have you really had that much to drink? Barry, focus! I just feel like movies should have stories and people in them that reflect the people that pay to see them. Then Barry, don't stop until you do exactly that. And to help, I'm going to give you an extension on the rent. <laughs> Thank you. You have until tomorrow. Can you get that, please? Holy fuck, you're him! You're Winston Price! Yeah. Are you Barry, by any chance? No, but I could be. I follow you on TikTok. Um, what are you doing in my apartment? You're like a major famous person, right? I'm a regular person, and I got your tweets. I figured out where you live through Leslie, and so here I am. Uh, you know you can't sue me, right? I literally have $30,000 in student loan debt. And he has me $1,200 in rent. I'm not here to sue you, Barry. I'm here because I want to make your movie. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, the one with the gay breakfast girl? That's the one. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes! We're going to be rich! Come in, please. Come sit. Come in. Welcome. Not really much space to come in. <laughs> Tiny ass apartment. You living in squalor in here. middle of our writing session last night. So I changed you, threw you in bed. You're gonna need access to me 24 seven, Barry. If you're gonna be my writer, now I'm gonna be your muse. In case you do something quirky, you wanna record it. Like changing my clothes for me? Like that, exactly. Not thinking like the writer. Come on, get up. Days are wasted. Oh. You know, when I first came out, I thought that the calls would stop coming in, but they didn't. They just changed. Changed to the sassy gay best friend, the black guy who dies before the credits. See, Barry, that's why your film can't be about gay black superheroes. It's got to be about real people. Poor people. Poor people like you, Barry. Um, I'm not poor. I have a platinum card at Costco. <laughs> it's poetic justice, really. That your poor, poor sob story is so rich for entertainment and exploitation. <laughs> um, you said you wanted to be a part of my script, but now I just feel like all you want to do is change it. Like, like Leslie. No, wrong. Not like Leslie. I want to keep the gay. I just don't think your film needs to be about being gay. Your script is reeking of heteronormative viewpoints. We gotta fix that first and foremost. Okay, that's fine. You mind? No, I don't mind. Do your thing. So like I was saying, cream cheese goes good with everything, doesn't it? Okay, so this is Alfred Hitchcock's Rebecca. You see this housekeeper here, she's in love with this woman. But it's all understated because of subtext, you know, the haze code. Wow, you sure do know a lot about gay cinema. I'm impressed. All right, so let's start with a tragic background. Where are you from? Uh, a two-parent household with upper middle class values. Okay, no, that won't work. We'll have to embellish. How about a crack whore for a mother who uses me as a human ass shay? Hmm? She's writing that down. Ever slept in a crack house? No. Ever been homeless? No. Ever sold some money for some kids? No. Hmm? Sorry, I'm a dweller. All I do is hang out at the coffee shop, I write, and dwell. But there's gotta be other queer characters to write about than just a cisgendered man like me. Ugh, I'm totally getting fucked. 
the ass. Contacts? Does she need any? I'm having the worst day. Oh my god, cute shoes. Thank you. One of the brands that sponsors me is getting cancelled for having questionable building structures in Bangladesh. My brand, House of Chloe, just lost 5,000 followers. I'm in serious jeopardy. This isn't the House of Chloe. Now is not a good time. Keith? Hey. Hey. You told me you had some things in mind that I had to come get today, or they were going back to Goodwill. That sounds like something I would say. Hello, oh, Chloe. Hey. Tony nominee Winston Price. What are you doing here? Well, I can't be expected to get my entire life story. <laughs> but for a fan, why not? It all started when I was born in England, then I was shipped off to New York to study acting. That's New York City for you country folk. <laughs> and there I learned... Okay, that and that's all we have time for today. Now, Keith. This obviously isn't a good time right now. What did I even leave over here besides my ficus? Or my dignity? I tell you, I love you once. And I sent you running like I have the plague. Can you even run from the plague? And you're always editing my metaphors. Look, anything to avoid a real conversation about us. Us? Keith, you've been unemployed since Rihanna made music. I'm chasing a dream too, Barry. But did you think you had a monopoly on that? A cafe for cats isn't your dream? It's a dream that you had while you were napping. Look, it's a cafe for cats to do yoga with their owners. It's a cafe for people to do yoga who have cats, okay? And look, it's for people who like pets and, and have cats. It's a good idea. Did you throw your eyes at me? No, <laughs> I just looked at you and then I looked away with this thing, that's it. You need me. You need me. Anyone to blame for that failing writing career of yours. So you keep me on this will they, won't they highway straight to Berryville. Berryville? Is that the best you got? How about Berry Town or Berry Village? I'm leaving. And you can keep the damn ficus. <laughs> oh my god! That was fantastic! That was... That the gay weirdness of it all. I think I'm in love. Oh no, I love it too. Poor gay writer can only get his jaws off with another even poor jobless man child. It writes itself. I need to go to my place. I thought this was his place. He needs a special place. Oh, I got one of those. Okay, can we get back to my problem now? Sure, why not? You got 30 seconds. What am I gonna do about this PR disaster? I could lose everything. I ain't going back to Ann Arbor. Uh, time's up. But you told me 30 seconds. I know, but the story's boring, honey. This is a superficial problem, okay? It calls for a superficial answer. Leak your news. I've done that. I know. I mean, I just say, congratulations. Thank you. Or what else you got? I don't know. You could always, you know, give a half-heart apology they don't really care about, and then continue all the same negative behaviors that got in trouble in the first place right after. I've done that too. Do you know what? I think I'm gonna do that. You know, this whole experience is making me realize that I need to make some more friends IRL versus through a screen. Oh, before I forget. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you are kind of a celebrity and I've got an appearance to keep up. When you say kind of... Is there really Winston Price in my living room? Yes. And did I really just scare away the only man who truly loved me? Yes. You know, Keith was right. I am afraid to love him. I'm just afraid me loving him is going to lead to me needing him. You know, when I first came to LA, all I had in my name was a 99 cent store bra and a box of matches. And I promised myself to stop running away from my problems and start running towards them. You must have a crazy coming out story. I'm sorry I never asked, and, and sorry I'm not a better tenant. We can only do our best, but I'll take care of it. It's coming. So let me get this straight. You're a queer screenwriter with a story in his heart, the perfect actor to tell it. You have a man, although he may not be perfect, you have a man. And you're sitting in the shower crying. Start running towards your problems, Barry. Run towards it. Come on, let's go. Where, where are we going? We are running towards our problems. Come on, let's go. You too, Winston Price. Come on. Where? 
Where are we going? We are running towards our office. me until I tried. When you on the field, bruh, and you got that stuff going on, you already know what it is. You know what time it is, you better get that instinct. <laughs> Killer instinct. Okay, that's great. Can you try a little bit more urban, maybe? Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear babe. Happy birthday to yeah. Uh, again, <laughs> thank you so much, but today's not my birthday. Oh. I've actually gathered you all here today because I got some good news, guys. You got some uh, I finished the script. <gasps> you finished? Yes, signed, sealed, and delivered to Leslie's desk. Right. Now, I just must say a huge thanks to you, Chloe, for giving me perspective and oh, nuance in you, Winston. <laughs> For just having blind faith in me. It means a lot. Well, I've never seen a more crafted Twitter feed. I just had to see what you can do with 129 pages. Mm -hmm. To Barry. To Barry. And a Jeez. cheers to you, Chloe. For you and your new man who you won't tell anybody about. He's not my man mm -hmm. yet, but he did purchase a bunch of clothes for my new line. Mm -hmm. Also, Chloe. Chloe. Yeah. He purchased a bunch of new pieces and he gave them to a bunch of homeless people. Isn't that so sweet? So I won't ruin my makeup, but that's so sweet. Mm -hmm. Skid Row has never looked better. Uh, oh, happy day, boys! <laughs> Cheers. Oh, excuse me, I'll be right back. <laughs> I give it two weeks. Mm. So now that the money bag is secure, what do you think about me telling Keith that I love him? Do you? Uh, yes. Ever since this unemployment phase that he's been going through, it's been really trying, but I, I feel like I really want him in my life as a true fixture. Really? Why are you doing that with your voice? Do you want with my voice? Oh my god. Listen. Oh, this is Leslie. I gotta take this. Hello? Hello, darling. I have bad news. Okay. Oh, really? Okay. Well, what if... Right, but what if... Okay. Okay, sure. I'll, I'll sure let him know. <laughs> okay, thanks. Bye. So, tell me what's going on. You know, <laughs> she said... Uh-huh. What she said was, she's a big fan of your strong artistic uh, choices. Uh huh. Okay, but get to the good part. I'm getting. I'm getting. Um, also, that they are not going forward with your script, Barry. Okay, but uh, I know these producers, Barry, and they just they just need a little sweet talking. Are you okay? Let's uh, call. Uh, hello. Hey, Barry. I've got some incredible news. Yeah, I can sure use some right now. I just booked my first guest star in a courtroom drama. Yeah, I'm playing the, a petty thief with a third grade education, but I get my own trailer and all the free snacks I want. Oh wow, that's that's good. Congrats. Thank you, thank you. Look, um, I know you want us to be over, but you know you were the only constant in my life, the only support for the past two years, and you know now that I have something. You're the first person I wanted to share it with. That's so sweet. Um, 
I don't even know what to say. Well, you turned in your script today, right? Like, like how'd that go? It went, it went well. Um, their option in my script. Oh my God, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Um, but hey, look, I gotta go. Uh, but yeah, let's talk about this over dinner. Okay, okay, cool. All right, fine. Not a single word, okay? <laughs> Not a word. I, I need to go to my place. <laughs> in her out, babes. <sighs> Kardashian. Oh my god, and you didn't go? Well, me and Kim have some beef, but that's a story for another time. I heard about your movie deal. Yeah, I'm fine. It's just, I thought that this time it was gonna be different. Like, Winston fucking Price came over to my house, and we crafted this beautifully nuanced script. I just thought it was gonna be different this time, you know? And are they really so afraid to put people like us on the big screen? that they're afraid, and I may just be your nosy landlord, but from what I've seen, you may just be that person to show them the way. Well, you're more than just a landlord, for me. Oh, stop. I made $400 showing my boobs to my new boyfriend. Oh my god. Girl, I was not prepared to see all of that. <laughs> but nice boobs, by the way. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna start an OnlyFans. Oh my god, me too. Girl, I'm serious. I have to pay. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Oh, gosh. So, <laughs> what's next for Barry? <laughs>